For 100 years, MCHEM Spain has been at the service of transatlantic commerce. MCHEM Spain was founded on October 29, 1917, in the midst of World War I by the then Consul General of the United States in Barcelona, Carlton B. Hurst. It was not long before businessmen with interests overseas began knocking at the chamber's door. Some of the first member companies include La Compañía Transatlántica, La Compañía General de Tabacos en Filipinas, Pinillos Izquierdo, along with a sizable group of cotton importers and American companies such as R.G. Dunn & Company and Remington Typewriters. The institution's first headquarters was located at Rambla de los Estudios No. 8 in Barcelona. Finally, the chamber opened an office in Madrid. Thanks to the chamber's hard work and dedication to the promotion of strong commercial relations between Spain and the United States, in 1918, AmCham Spain was designated a member of the United States Chamber of Commerce, of which it continues being a member and strong contributor to this day. Upon the conclusion of the Great War, commerce between both countries diminished. During this time, the labor, dedication, and effort made by AmCham Spain were critical to strengthening the commercial relations between Spain and the United States. Then, in 1929, AmCham Spain participated with a stand in the Barcelona Universal Exposition, which was attended by 32 American companies. And for the first time in the history of the institution, four women participated in the Chamber's General Assembly meeting in 1930. Today, AmCham Spain is made up of nearly 300 member companies, which have a combined turnover of 248 billion euros in Spain, representing 24% of the GDP, and generate more than a million jobs. These member companies represent the majority of the most important American companies operating in Spain. Virtually all of the EBEX 35 companies, as well as a significant number of SMEs from both countries. As the most exclusive networking platform in Spain, AmCham Spain encourages its members' business development and expands their network of contacts by offering them direct access to high-ranking government officials and representatives from the business community at the numerous high-level events held throughout the year. Moreover, AmCham Spain has become a leading advocacy organization, mediating for its member companies and protecting the interests of foreign direct investment of American origin through its 11 specialized working committees. Composed of over 300 executives working pro bono, these committees work to ensure a positive business climate by bringing about beneficial changes in Spanish, European, and American politics. Over the course of at least 100 more years, AmCham Spain will continue serving as a platform for generating business opportunities, as well as fostering economic reform and encouraging technological and scientific exchange. All in an environment of profound transformation, so as to maximize the contribution of our two countries. Como presidente de Llena Electric en España y vicepresidente de la Ancham, es para mí un privilegio y un enorme placer participar en la celebración de este primer centenario de la presencia de la Cámara de Comercio de Estados Unidos en España. Dentro de la enorme contribución de la Ancham al fortalecimiento y desarrollo de la economía y sociedad civil en ambos países, me gustaría destacar especialmente nuestra labor de advocacy, a través de la cual sugerimos la adopción de medidas que incrementen la competitividad e internacionalización de nuestro país y el posicionamiento de España como uno de los destinos más atractivos para la inversión. Se trata de medidas fruto de la aportación altruista de compañías que en muchos casos lideran globalmente sectores estratégicos de todo tipo y que ponen su conocimiento y experiencia al servicio de un sueño, que dentro de otros 100 años esta relación sea aún más provechosa para ambos países, España y Estados Unidos y el resto del mundo. No se cumplen 100 años todos los días y la verdad con tan buena salud. Desde HP queremos felicitar de corazón a la AMCHAM no solamente en este aniversario que es tan emblemático, sino también por ese fortalecimiento del vínculo transatlántico que tanta prosperidad nos ha dado a nuestro país. Las multinacionales americanas han contribuido de manera importante en el desarrollo de la economía de nuestro país. Estados Unidos es seguramente desde 1960 el mayor inversor extranjero 
eh, teniendo un importante efecto tractor eh, en nuestro país. No solamente empresas que han traído eh, centros de producción, eh, centros de excelencia, centros de I D, como es el caso nuestro, sino también hemos ayudado a crear ese efecto tractor, ese ecosistema para nuestras pequeñas y medianas empresas, para que crezcan, para que se desarrollen. Eh, yo solo deseo 100 años más, como mínimo, a la AMCHAM, en ese trabajo fructífero, en esa cooperación entre ambos países, para ayudar a desarrollar eh, este país, para esa innovación, ese empleo de calidad y ese progreso y ponernos a la altura de los mejores como nos merecemos. I am honored to celebrate with you AMCHAM Spain's 100th anniversary. This milestone reminds us of the vision of a number of American and Spanish businessmen and diplomats who, a century ago, believed in the future of transatlantic trade and investment. They proved to be right. Spain and the United States business relationship is flourishing, and AmCham continues to be a key resource for American companies in Spain, as well as a valuable partner for the U.S. Embassy in Madrid and Consulate General in Barcelona. Happy 100th birthday. It's really an honor for me to congratulate the American Chamber of Commerce in Spain on its 100th anniversary. The Chamber has long been one of our closest and most valued collaborators. Throughout the years, it has been witness to many important developments in this wonderful country. The Chamber has always been a staunch and strong advocate for Spain while upholding American values. As the Chargé d'Affaires of the U.S. Embassy in Spain, I'm delighted to congratulate the Chamber's President, Jaime Malet, and his wonderful team for their steadfast efforts and creative initiatives that strengthen even further the relationship between our two countries. There's no doubt in my mind that we will find new and innovative ways to accomplish even more together. I wish the American Chamber of Commerce in Spain the very best for its next hundred years. MCHAM Spain does an incredible job about providing resources for American companies and Spanish companies uh, to learn to participate in trade and investment between both countries. Um, I've been incredibly impressed by the fact that it's not only major companies that are, are participating in MCHAM Spain, but startups and entrepreneurs who are looking for a way to move forward. Es una institución que juega un papel eh, importantísimo en nuestras relaciones bilaterales y eh, eso hace que desde la sociedad civil norteamericana y la sociedad civil española en el tema eh, económico-comercial se establezcan muchas relaciones, se vean las posibilidades de inversión en un país y en otro eh, y se creen las oportunidades para nuestros eh, empresarios. Most of all, your AmCham has a spirit, it has a, it has a level of energy, it gets up in the morning and wants to go do something that's important. Here in Spain, you have, you really have three things. You have good business members, you have a good collaborative relationship with other organizations that uh, represent the same companies, and you have a spirited, capable leader. Para el presidente de una entidad empresarial que cumple 100 años, es fácil hablar eh, de los logros pasados. Más complicado, más difícil mmm, es hablar de lo que la entidad tiene que hacer, de dónde nos tenemos que orientar para aportar al tejido productivo para vivir como mínimo 100 años más. A mí me gustaría destacar que la Cámara va a seguir haciendo lo que ha hecho hasta ahora. ¿no? Eh, en primer lugar, pues seguir mmm, atrayendo y sobre todo trabajando para retener la inversión extranjera, la inversión estadounidense en España. En segundo lugar, va a seguir promocionando la inversión de empresas españolas, la creación de American Jobs en, en Estados Unidos por parte de las empresas españolas. Y en tercer lugar, va a seguir trabajando para, sugeriendo medidas para la mejora de la competitividad, eh, de la internacionalización y de la productividad de la economía española. Pero yo creo que también tenemos un reto por delante muy importante, eh, Tenemos que trabajar con nuestras empresas, las mejores empresas españolas, las mejores empresas americanas, eh, para preparar al tejido productivo en esta nueva realidad, que es la, revolución, la cuarta revolución industrial, esta, esta nueva realidad que nos está envolviendo, que está llegando y que va a cambiar mm, absolutamente todos los uh, diferentes sectores y todas las uh, líneas de actividad. Thank you.